hi guys welcome back to my channel yes I'm in my red white and black um, tomorrow Trinidad and Tobago will be celebrating Republic Day our 40th anniversary so I am wearing my red white and black so today I'm here to show you to show you all a haul and it's a lot so I suggest that you get something to drink and you get something to eat and come right back right so I'm gonna dive right into the haul because it's a few stuff so the first thing I purchased that I can't show you the physical item but I have the tag is this three tier rock that I purchased at Tunapuna shopping center for $48 I saw it at um, all on all in one on Charlotte Street for a hundred dollars so I glad I didn't purchase it then so this is it here and I have it in my bathroom and it's a corner stand so it works perfectly in my bathroom so this was $48 at Sumat Arima I picked up these two baskets for my fridge to store little stuff in it to have the fridge a little more organized especially for Yan and these were $30.95 each yesterday I went to Tunapuna Francis Fashions because I needed some vests camisoles for under my clothing I purchased some before on Queen Street they normally three for a hundred but the quality didn't hold up for me so I re I put on one this week and I realized the quality was different and I was like I read the tag and then I remember where I purchased it and it was at Francis Fashions at the time so I went back and I purchased six so these are really nice the quality is really nice as well they are longer than the normal ones that we get for three four hundred it is really long so this one i got is a green and look how long is it is right so i got a green i got a green and it's well shaped as you can see I got a green I got a black you can't go wrong I love yellow who knows me knows I love yellow see how long it is I got purple and I got peach also at Tuna Puna this is the bill and I got a gift card which I would not be using um, at Tunapuna, I went to the fabric store, Fabric Land, and I purchased a piece of fabric that I just really like it. And this is it here. And what I like about this, it is thicker than the ones that Jimmy Abood sells. And this was $15 a yard. Jimmy Abood is either $16 or $17 a yard. And this is much thicker. I was really taken aback and surprised. But the only downfall with Fabric Land is that they have limited stock. It's not a wide variety like Jimmy Abood. It's really narrow. Right? Um, and they're also having a 10% sale right now. It's a pre Diwali sale. And this is supposed to be $60 because I bought four yards and I got it for $54. Also, at, I went to Charon's bookstore and I picked up some notebooks because I love me some notebooks. So I got this pretty polka dot one. This Paisley abstract one in brown. They have this in purple, pink, blue, black. But I didn't like it. Only the brown stand out for me and it was the only one. And then this yellow and white polka dot. There is the multicolored one. It has black, it has pink of purple yeah so what I'm going to show you I you all know I dabble in sewing I can help myself I'm not a seamstress but I can help myself but um I carried some clothes to a seamstress and I was pretty disappointed and more now I'm empowered to do a lot for myself so I bought some more paper patterns and these cost me two fifty each, two dollars and fifty cents US each. Normally they're like five dollars. 
and after I purchased it, like a week after, they went to $1.99. Sometimes I did, the last one was Simplicity. I did catch that $1.99 sale, so that was excellent. So, you know, you win some, you lose some, you know. So, the first thing I picked up was this. And everything that you see here could be made from the pattern in here. So, this was the first thing I picked up. So you're getting this blouse, this blouse, long sleeve, short sleeve, as a line skirt and the trousers. You're getting these different pat well, it's two different patterns. Three. No four. It's really four different. Yeah, because the sleeves are different here. Same neck style. This one have a button, this one have a ribbon. I know you're not really interested in this, so I'm going, I'm going through it quickly. I bought it really mainly for this shirt. I have a nice piece of fabric I want to go with, make with this. I love these dresses. I'm going to dabble. I got this underwear pattern. I got this ballroom gown. I picked up this for Yannick. He could, I can make some shirts for him, some short pants. And I picked up this pajama set, but even though it is pajamas, if you look at it carefully, it's a v-neck and short sleeve. I can make dashi keys for him out of this and a normal elastic pants. So that's why I purchased it. So he gets two folds. He gets pajamas and African clothes. I didn't show you all the African outfit I made for him. He had um what it is, boy, something in school, ethnic wear day. So I made him a dashiki outfit. So I'm going to dive into my Pennywise haul from Tunapuna yesterday. Um, the first thing I picked up was this soft candle. It was $8. I picked up one, two dinner mints, Casey candy, and these are $7.50 each. I picked up my Vatica. You all know I love this. I never tried this one, the black seed. It's normally twenty dollars. It's out. It is now twenty one fifty. I picked up this brush set because I want to blow out my hair and for the tangling purposes as well. So I picked this up and this was only eight ninety five. They have pink in it, I think, and a teal. But I went to Trin City today and they had one was smaller and one was bigger. So I don't know. Then I picked up this gel eyeliner, Rimmel, because I find the caramel running on the, um, at the corners of my eyes, at the wing. My eyes tend to shed water sometimes. I get teary dye. So this was $31.50. If anybody used this, please let me know. Any reviews, I'll appreciate it. I picked up this Lotta Body Edge Control Gel. I picked it up for my friend, Yannick's godmother. I picked up this new Caress Fine Fragrance Love Forever. I think I got this in a, um, a beauty, beauty box. So, can't wait to try that. No, I did try it. I, I think, and last, but not least, from Tunapuna, I picked up some lipsticks and lip glosses and whatever lippy stuff. So this Jordana, I didn't know Jordana going up to be so much. To me, I used to pay $6 for Jordana, but I could be wrong. The first one I picked up is in the name Pumpkin. Up here, I could see it there. It's pumpkin. I'm gonna test it out for you guys. And this is what pumpkin looks like. It's a nice orange. I realized I didn't have any orange lipsticks. I thought it had glitter in it, but it's little beads of um, condensation. This one, okay, that one is not matte. This one is matte, and this is Plum Obsession. 
the girl said everybody owns this in in Pennywise. So I was like, okay, give it to me, cause my girl, she said like she she was marketing well, and it's really a nice pink, and it's matte. Well, it looks semi matte to me. That's it. It's really nice. And the other one I picked up, I don't know what is the difference. Oh, let me give you all a little. Oh, this one is matte and this one is not matte. So, not matte. Okay, these two, these two were eleven ninety five. Like she didn't cash for this one. No, she didn't cash for this one. Mm -mm. I got this one free. Santi 24 hour mat. I have two at 11.95. Right? But this one wasn't cut. Oh no, it was Santi Mac Liquid thirty ninety five. So I'm just gonna take my time and show you what happened. I'm gonna just give you share a little story with you guys. She scanned this one, but it wasn't going through, and it's because it didn't have these plastic wrap on it. So she had to scan this one. So I was like, oh, now that you did it, you have me wondering. But she thought, she thought I thought she was robbing me, but it wasn't that. When I made a statement. When I said you have me wondering is if it was used because it didn't have the wrapper on it, right? So I went to get it exchanged and she was most upset, right? And the lady next door was saying it's not you. Our supervisor says it's not you. She means to say she wants to get it exchanged. But my cashier was really touchy. So I'm just going to show you really quickly. As I said, this one was eleven ninety five, and this is a 24 hour matte by Santi is it by Santi yes it is okay and for some reason okay I should have done this off camera um this is number four. Oh my I've taken off the plastic and I don't know if it have a name it looks like it's just number four right number four I think it reminds me of pink passion but it's really creamy and nice so that's it there it's a nice corally color coral pinky color this one is number eight me big in the brown color right and last but not least and I think this one is my favorite one when I tested it it's number six also by Santi and I'm looking for an area to open it and I'm not seeing one so I'm going to take a little longer in opening this. And this one is my favorite because it's like a real orange. lighting sucks here but does it there so I don't smell bad right so this is what I got at Tuna Puna Pennywise so today I went to Trim City Mall because why did I 
did I go to Transitive? Yeah, and it wanted a slushy. So the first thing I picked up was these Kotex overnight. I think these were ten fifty. Picked up two. I picked up this hand liquid soap for Yannick for school, for his classmates and him, and this is strawberry pomegranate. I picked up four foot files at $5.95 each. I picked up this blackhead remover. Oh, before I go any further, those who buy the Kiss Matte lipsticks. They are $40 at Wonderful World, but they are $23 at Wonderful at Pennywise. And um, I picked up this Kiss 2-Way Blackhead Remover. This was $23.50. I picked up this Garnier Fruities, Fruities Slick and Shine Anti Frizz Serum. This was $40 something dollars. I picked up this Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Brazilian Smooth Flat Iron Express. F difficult to straighten here. Right, this is 5.1 fluid ounces. This was also 40 something dollars. <sighs> then I purchased this brush because the colors were very attractive. And that's the truth right and this was $30 and I like it because it have the holes I'm gonna blow dry my hair because I want to flat iron my hair and I made friends with some of the sales clip there natural hair people who hair type is different from mine so I'm hoping that what they put me on to will really work because they encouraged me to buy this this um i can't the words can't even come out my mouth this flat iron that i paid did i how much was this 200 and something 70 dollars i think or 272 there's one by connie for 300 and something dollars so this is one and a half inch and it goes up to 450 degrees because I, I really went there to get a Remelton and I decided on one for like $200 and then the girl was like no everybody who works here owns this and um yeah I'm a sucker and then she got a naturalist to come and yeah so i'm hoping it works for me because the flat iron i have now does not work properly for me it doesn't do anything for my hair and i got this little bit of argan oil this one and only argan oil treatment so guys i hope it works and that's the end of my haul i hope you enjoyed what i purchased and if you have used or bought anything that i did please give me a review on it how it worked for you or how it did not work for you and guys those who got paid remember that your salary has to last you until october month end, which is five weeks it has five mondays so we can't get all crazy right guys um do you have an enjoyable weekend um i'm not really doing anything no i'm lying i have a date tomorrow with one of my subscribers yes so that'll be another video um so that's that i'm not really doing anything after that so yeah so all those who go into parades or fireworks are just having a nice family get together be safe and do enjoy bye guys